Okay. Don't judge me, y'all. The Lord just turned me right back around. The Lord just turned me. And I don't know, is this person following me or did she? Brand new whip just. Hola, mis corazones. Bienvenidos a mi canal. It is your girl's evening routine. Being me. Okay, so I'm on my way to Starbs. I gotta get off this demon latte, okay? I promise y'all, I watched a video on TikTok, on the Tickety Talk, that really made me feel like I don't wanna drink Starbucks anymore because it's like mermaids and then mermaids are demonic and like that siren spirit. It just like, it really gets you hooked. But I'm gonna be real, y'all. It's been a little hard. Like, I've been disciplined, like, discipline, discipline. But on some rough days like today, I be like, all right, let me go get me a little, you know what I'm saying? So if they have it, it means, if they don't have it, it means it was never meant to be. But I'm going to go home and cook me some beef stew per use. So I'm going to be doing my evening routine with y'all. But I started it off. I'm on my way home from work. And I feel bloated. Maybe it's time to get in the gym. You know what I mean? Like you only, once you feel the side effects, then you want to go in and just make some shake, do some strange for a little bit of change. You know what I'm saying? But, um, here I go. Here I go. Here I come. <laughs> here I come. All right, let's see. So you're all out of it? That is correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Don't judge me, y'all. The Lord just turned me right back around. The Lord just turned me. And I don't know, is this person following me or did she not? She went there for mantra too, but uh, all right. So anyways, y'all, I'm about to listen to my tunes because that's always important. You know what I mean? When you headed home, I'm going to tell y'all about my very eventful work day. Oh, Jesus, fix it, Lord. Very eventful. Um, In a minute. Hold on. When I get home. so y'all can see me better good evening your girl has made it home i went on my lunch break and i purchased my dinner and i kept it in the refrigerator like i told one of my um co-workers i hope i remember to take it out the fridge so that i can go home and cook that's how determined i was to cook today because i knew if i came home and i did not have the groceries with me i wasn't gonna cook because by the time you're driving home you be exhausted from the day, okay? Quick outfit of the day. I just had on this skirt that I got from Fashion Nova. It was actually a fit. I got this shirt like 10 years ago. Um, and I just kept it ever since. So I got me some potatoes, some carrots, and some stew meat. I'm going to be making some beef stew. This is like one of my favorite meals to cook. It takes me so long because I don't have like the proper pot but I still like let that thing cook for a long time so my beef stew literally falls apart in your mouth okay period certified in here don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it come on baby don't play with me so I got some beef stew some carrots some potato I'm about to start the rice I'm about to start my meat because this takes I cook this for like a minute before it like you know what i'm saying like it, it come correct so that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna clean it season it and then start jumping right into cooking so y'all can just go ahead and cook with me i'm gonna pull up my ipad because i'm i like to either listen to a podcast listen to something or listen to some music so when i feel like i want to laugh i'll be pulling up kevin samuel sometimes or anything really that's not like frying my brain cells that's my theory so or even like a tv show or something but let's jump straight into it because i don't want to waste any more time and it already takes a long time so i'm gonna wash my hands and get my pots my pans and all that and let's get into a pot from target and it was not cheap y'all but it was very much worth it i have a flat top 
and I like to just keep everything clean in my apartment as clean as I can. I like my apartment to look like no one else live here, like no one live here, period. So that's basically what I got going on here. It's a green pan. I love these pans because like it does, it's a non-stick pan and on top of that, like it's really clean, like really easy to like clean. But not that anybody asks me, but I'm a real certified chef, y'all. Like I like to put my all into cooking and just cleaning and just vibing so anyways let's get into it let me wash my hands y'all how I, I season my beef stew um this seasoning right here is like my best friend maggie seasoning do something different to you like for real for real so um i need to get me some gloves y'all so I can like really get up in there. Um, but because I like I I will do that and wash my hands 50 million times when I'm cooking. But it's just easier when you get gloves, and especially because like I have a cut on my hand and I'm scared that jungle burn. But I'm going in with some cayenne pepper, got some sasan. You also got some Goya seasoning. You just gotta season that mug. You hear me? Season it, period. Your preference, preferable. What the hell I'm trying to say? That must be it. But anyways, I got some garlic salt. Slap some of that mug up in here. And this, this right here is ready to go. So I'm gonna put some oil in my pot. And I'm also gonna grab some some garlic and I'm gonna put this in there I also like to like season as I go so you don't want to start off too strong with your seasoning because you can always add instead of trying to subtract when it comes to cooking. You can fix something that's under seasoning and compare to trying to fix something that's just, is you just too much, too much salt, too much everything. So I like to definitely go in with some pepper. So now that it's spread out and I just already like mix everything up in my pot, I go back in with a little bit more. This is the meal that I cook very frequently, so I'm able to measure by eye how much seasoning I need. And I also like to clean as I go. So any dirty dishes that I use, like this pot that I, this pan that I use, I'm gonna go ahead and just wash that immediately. And I'm gonna use the same thing to wash my rice and get my rice going. Then after I get my rice going, I'm gonna use the same pan to cut my potatoes, peel my potatoes, and just get started, get that ready to add to this pot for my stew. So this is gonna last me a couple of days. I'm gonna put up my stuff, cause like I said, I like to clean as I go. Stay organized, stay on my tippity toes. I have some carrots, I got some potatoes, First thing that I want to do is clean and put the rice on because that takes a little minute also to cook. Let me go ahead and do that. And single women keep women single and women who are divorced with children.
Okay, y'all, so for this evening routine, I'm going to be showing you guys how I actually get ready for bed. So the beef stew is already cooking. I went ahead and came home from work, and I am still wearing my work clothes at the moment. I'm going to shower, and once I shower, it's like game over. It's time for me to get in my bed and just get ready to go to sleep to get up to do it all over again but for this evening routine i decided to jump straight into cooking because it was going to take a long time for me to do that so i wanted to get that started while i started to work on some other work so jumping in to this evening routine after my nine to five it's important for me to get set up for the rest of the week so picking out any clothes that i need to wear or maybe I've already done that. I maybe want to jump into some journaling because maybe I have a lot on my mind. So creating healthy habits for me and having a productive evening routine really has a lot to do with spending time with the Lord and really trying my best to get grounded in Him. I know we have really, really busy work days. So I know, and just even if you don't work a nine to five, you have school or wherever you're at in your life right now, it can be very hard trying to stick to a routine and stay healthy and stay spiritually fed. I know that it you can set in your mind like I'm going to do X, Y, Z, and then you get thrown off or life is just throwing you so many curveballs. So I think that it's so important to have a worship routine like to constantly have your mind set on the lord that you don't have to have specific times of the day to pray to him you don't have to have specific times of the day to worship but instead to forever have a heart of worship a heart posture to just be at his feet you don't need to set up the entire room none of that like prayer is communication with god constantly so before you pick up the phone to call your bff or whoever it is that you are constantly talking to your man your girl your boys Instead, place God above everyone else in your life and watch him do marvelous things. I remember almost a year ago, I got into journaling, meditating, and I didn't do meditation, I guess like the quote unquote proper, proper way. I just wanted to quiet my spirit, quiet my mind because it was just so much going on. A lot of fearful things happening, me stepping out in faith in so many areas of my life. And now a year later, I literally am crossing off of the list so many marvelous things that the Lord has done for me. And his name is so worthy to be praised. You get caught up in the routine that you're not even realizing that you're accomplishing so much that the Lord is moving. The things that you was asking him for, he has made. 
come clear and come about in your life. So today I just want to remind you to just have a heart's posture to thank your heavenly father. He is your heavenly father. He loves you. And if you watch my content, I just want to push you so much closer to God. I want to let you know that I am an imperfect being. I make mistakes every day just like you, but because of the love of God, because of the Holy Spirit, I thank him for the thirst that I have for him every single day, for the desire in my heart to push people towards Christ and to just be used as a vessel for the benefit of his kingdom. So while the Lord is working on me, I just want to encourage you to go deeper with him. So with this evening routine, as I wrap up, you know, working on journaling or editing any videos or checking out my content, as you know, I'm a content creator on multiple platforms. I like to also just read a page of anything, anything that you feel like is an area that you can work on in your life, whether it may be writing, whether it may be reading, whether it just may be sitting still and not worrying, not stressing about things, quieting your mind for just five minutes if that's all you have. Just make that a part of your evening routine so that you can have a productive evening routine. So that's pretty much what I am doing before I wrap up the evening routine. Thank you.